So guys, how you doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and uh, let me tell you a short story. So, we found the spotted turtle, probably be a separate video, found those worm snakes, and pretty excited about that. But let me tell you, got that spotted turtle, bring it up to a small patch of grass so I can do the video you just saw. I'm doing pretty good, pretty much done with that. And Bill's like, there's ticks, you know, we need to go. And um, I'm like, okay. So a few seconds later, Bill's like, dude, release the turtle. We got to go right now. And I'm like, he wouldn't say that unless that was something serious. There's, I know Bill, he wouldn't, he wouldn't say it for a venomous snake. He wouldn't say it for a dangerous person. So I'm thinking, this has to be serious. Whatever he's talking about. I'm like, I trust him. So I look down and completely covering my boots, going up my legs, are just dozens and dozens and dozens of ticks. Lone star ticks to be exact, and deer ticks. Nymphs, sub-adults, adults, just tons of them. I look down at my walking stick. It's covered in them. I mean, we were only there for a few minutes. And uh, in short grass, mind you. The worst part about it is I had set my backpack down right there, completely covered in ticks. Now I've run into tick bombs before in tick situations where uh, the most I ever had was 120 on me in one deal. Yeah, 120 ticks. That was nothing compared to this. And then to make it 100 times worse, they're all over my backpack. And as you know, there's nooks and crannies and compartments and everything. And I'm like staying at somebody's house, last thing I want to do is bring these ticks in with me. The Lone Star Tick doesn't just affect their Lyme disease, okay? It's got another disease that it has all on its own, um, or that it can transmit. And it's a nasty disease. So I'm just extremely disturbed by this point. So I release the turtle and immediately go on to flat ground where it was mostly sand and uh, commence to de-tick. So before we left the house in the morning, I had this overwhelming urge to go back into my room and grab the lint roller. And I was like, what am I doing? And, but I just had this gut feeling, so I was like, just do it. And I grabbed it. Thank God I did, because that's how I removed almost all of the ticks from my backpack and myself. And let me tell you, 200 ticks. 200 ticks. So, my body wasn't just crawling with ticks, my mind was crawling with ticks. My nerves were crawling with ticks. My emotions were crawling with ticks. It was the most disturbing thing, you know, and as I've said, I've had tick experiences before where it was, you know, upsetting for most people, but nothing compared to this. It was insane. So I'm not going to say where it was because of the snakes and stuff we found, but um, absolutely upsetting. The worst tick experience I've ever had in my life. And let me tell you, it got more personal than that. But that's not for this video. <sighs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.